Okay, well that's enough abstract ideas for now about coverage. So let's take a concrete look at what coverage can do for us in practice, how it can help us do better testing. And what we're gonna do here is look at some random open source Python code that implements a splay tree. And before we get into the details, let me briefly explain what a splay tree is. And broadly speaking, a splay tree is just a kind of binary search tree. And a binary search tree is a tree where every node has two leaves and it supports operations such as insert, delete, and lookup. The main important thing about a binary search tree, the keys have to support an ordering relation. And so an ordering relation is anything that assigns a total ordering to all of the keys in the space. Just a simple example, if we're using integers for keys, then we could use less than for our ordering relation. Or for example, if we're using words as our keys, then we can use dictionary order. And so again, it doesn't matter what kind of a data type the key is in a binary search tree. All that really matters is, is the keys we're gonna use to look up elements in the tree have this ordering relation. The way the binary search tree is gonna work is, we're gonna build up a tree under the invariant that the left child of any node always has a key that's ordered before the key of the parent node, and the right child is always ordered after the parent node using the ordering. And so hopefully what you can see now is that if we build up some sort of a large tree with this kind of shape, we have a procedure for fast lookup. And the way that lookup works is when we're searching for a particular key in the binary search tree, we only have to walk one path from the root down to the leaves. We always know which subtree might contain the key that we're looking for. And of course, we have to actually go down into that subtree to see if it's there, but the point is we only have to walk one path through the tree. And the upshot is that generally operations on this kind of a search tree are gonna require a number of tree operations logarithmic in the number of tree nodes. So for example, if we have a tree with a million nodes, and if that tree that we build ends up being relatively balanced, then usually we're gonna expect to do about log base two of a million tree operations as part of a lookup or an insert or a delete, and so we're gonna end up doing roughly 20 operations. And so you can see since the number of operations is far lower than the number of nodes in the tree that this is generally considered to be an efficient kind of a data structure.